Welcome to a brief introduction to Octan. Octan is a desktop application that allows you to explore your resources in a Kubernetes cluster. What you're looking at now is the default view of Octan. It shows various resources and allows you to dive into each one. Here we have a list of workloads. Currently, we don't have any deployments. Let's go ahead and create one. After we can create this deployment, we can now see it in Octan. This is now running in our Kubernetes cluster. Let's go ahead and explore this deployment. We can see that this deployment has two pods and some various tabs across the top, as well as the pod template and the events. Looking at the tabs across the top, we can get to the metadata, we can explore the deployment to the resource viewer and see other associated resources. And we can also see the raw YAML. Going back to the resource viewer, let's take a look at something like pods. Here we can see that we have two pods. We can click into them and now we can see the details for the pod. The pod tabs are a little different as now we have access to logs as well as a terminal. The terminal is an interactive terminal that lets you type commands. You can use this to see your entry points and explore other parts of the container as you're trying to develop them. If this container had logs, they would display here. Similar to the deployment, we can see YAML, resource viewer, metadata, and the summary. You can also do something from here, which is to start a port forward. Starting this port forward will allow us to then test this pod. We can take this, we can click on this URL here. And after we click on that URL, we would be taken to the web browser where we would see this hello Kubernetes. Now we've verified that this pod is working as expected. Octane also provides an applications view, which allows you to get a high level view of your application without having to browse through a whole list. Here you can see we have two pods and what looks like a healthy application. Octane also provides a cluster overview, allowing you to view cluster level resources, namespace, cluster roles, cluster role bindings. You can also see any active port forwards that you've created from here, as well as look at things like storage and nodes. Octane has a plugin architecture that allows you to extend Octane through plugins. There are various community plugins available for Octane. Finally, you can switch between various namespaces as well as different clusters with Octane. Here I'll switch over to the Kube system namespace. And now you can see that I'm now looking at the namespace for Kube system. Let's switch back to our default namespace. And here you can see my hello world application again. And that is a brief tour of Octane.